This is a simple trick that I use to defeat any urge to watch porn in only 10 seconds. If you want to know what it is, I will put a timestamp on screen now so you can go there. But I'm warning you here that it will probably not make a lot of sense and won't really help you unless you watch the rest of the video first. To give you guys a little backstory here, over the last couple of years I've been in the nofap rabbit hole on YouTube trying to quit porn but without any success. These videos would always give me the motivation and willpower to quit but then after a couple of months I would always have this one moment of weakness and then suddenly I was hooked again. This cycle would repeat itself over and over again and although I wasn't fully addicted like jacking off every single day it still always felt like porn was having a hold on me always waiting for the right time to strike. Eventually, I was able to fix this problem for myself, but it wasn't until I started using the method, which I will be sharing with you today. This isn't a motivational NoFap video where I try to inspire you with my 500 year streak. And this is also not a video where I try to scare you into quitting by talking about things like erectile dysfunction and brain hypnofrontality. I can guarantee you that what I will be sharing with you today is completely different from the advice you've heard before and it will change your life forever, just like it did for me. So if you're tired of using a lot of willpower to stop watching and you want your urges to dissolve just like this, this video is for you. So let's not wait any longer and get right into it. So if you tried quitting porn before, you most likely used this strategy where whenever you get the urge to watch it, it would go as follows. First, you have this tug of war going on in your mind where you're weighing the pros against the cons. Then you just pray that your logical reasoning and willpower will be enough to resist the urge. And then you just hope that if you are able to resist the urges for long enough, that they will eventually pass and that you're free from the addiction. Now this strategy didn't really work for me and obviously it didn't work for you too. And there's a very simple reason for that. It's because of the way you're framing the addiction. When you are using willpower to quit, you're basically telling yourself that you're making a sacrifice because you believe that you're giving up on something. Something I always told myself, for example, is that if I would quit porn, it would be harder for me to cope with things like stress and boredom. So although I was motivated to quit because I knew about all the downsides of the addiction, I was still scared that if I would have one bad day, I wouldn't know what to do. So whenever I got an urge, I had to use willpower in order to prevent myself from relapsing because deep down below, I wasn't really sure yet about my decision to quit. Now this is where the problem starts because what you have to realize is that willpower is actually not an infinite source, but instead it's something that every single one of us will eventually run out of. So there might be days where willpower will be enough to prevent yourself from relapsing, but it's simply not sustainable in the long run. Because there will be a time where you're having a bad day and are not feeling well and suddenly you find yourself not having the willpower to resist those urges anymore. No matter how strong willed you are as a person. There have been multiple moments in my life where I was able to quit for weeks, months and even a year at a time but still ended up slipping back into it because of that. So then the question here is, if willpower isn't the way to go, what is? And well, that's actually very simple. All you have to do is make sure that you don't actually need willpower anymore to quit. And we do that by removing the so-called brainwashing. Like I said before, the reason why you would use the willpower method is because you believe that porn is quitting hard because you are making a sacrifice and giving up on something. There's this fear that you have that once you quit, you will be missing out on something and life will not be as fun and pleasurable anymore. But the truth is that watching porn doesn't give you any benefit at all. The only reason that you believe that there is a benefit to it is simply because you are brainwashed to think so. If you would look at the most used excuses by people to watch porn, you would probably hear things like, it helps me relax and relieve stress. It helps me focus and concentrate more. It cures my boredom. But the funny thing about this is that porn doesn't actually solve these problems, but instead it creates them. And in order to explain this, let's look at another addiction like smoking, for example. I know multiple people in my life that smoke. And what I would always notice about them is that whenever they can't smoke, they always feel like very tense. And then whenever they can smoke again, they always feel like relaxed again. As a non-smoker, whenever I see this, I always just laugh at myself and think to myself, this is just stupid. And that's because I never once in my life had this tense feeling and voice inside of me telling me that I needed to grab a cigarette. 
If you're a non-smoker too, you can probably relate to me here. But what we have to understand is that the reason why these smokers are always feeling tense and have all these withdrawal pains is because they simply started smoking in the first place. The first time they lit a cigarette, they started to give their brains a temporary boost in dopamine and then their brains got desensitized from natural dopamine and because of that, they now have all these negative feelings without it. As a non-smoker, you don't have these problems because you simply don't smoke. Now bringing this back to the main topic here, the same goes for porn here. There are a lot of people in this world who don't have access to porn or never watched it a single time in their lives and they are just doing fine. They don't constantly feel this emptiness inside of them that they need to fill up with something. So the void that you think you need to fill by watching porn, whether that's like stress, boredom or anxiety, is created by watching it in the first place. So that means that any pleasure you get from watching porn is only to relieve the pain that was actually caused by watching porn. It's basically like you would bang your head against a wall like this on purpose and hurt yourself just so it feels relaxed when you don't do it. It really is that stupid. Now of course that doesn't mean that all stress is caused by porn and that you will never have any stress in your life anymore after you quit watching. But what you have to realize here is that you are perfectly able to cope with this fully by yourself. Like I just said, there are a lot of people in this world who don't have access to porn and are perfectly able to deal with their problems without it. Just like you were able to deal with your own problems before you got addicted to porn. The void is only there because you started watching in the first place, so the void can only be closed by breaking the cycle and never watch again. Now besides this brainwashing, there's also some other popular beliefs that make it very hard for you to quit. These are things like porn is educational or there are a lot of successful people in this world who watch porn as well or you can't survive without having an orgasm. First of all, porn is not educational because it's not realistic and actually gives you false expectations of what sex is actually like. And also, even if that would be a valid excuse, I think you've had enough education by now. Second of all, yes, there might be people in this world who are successful and still watch porn. But let's be honest there guys, they would probably have an even better life if they wouldn't watch it. And also, the reason why they are successful is definitely not because they watch porn. Because there aren't any benefits to it. So you might still become successful here, but all you would do is literally just punish yourself and make it harder for yourself for no reason. And last of all, you don't actually need an orgasm in order to survive and anyone who told you so is lying. There's so many examples of people who have been celibate for very long periods in their life and they are completely fine. And also, if you don't orgasm for a while, your body will naturally do it in your sleep. So as long as you have enough pairs of underwear to spare, you will be fine. There's literally no benefit to watching porn and every excuse that you can think of is either part of the brainwashing or the lies that society has told to you. I remember at the time I actually had the most outrageous excuses to relapse. I would literally say things to myself like, oh, I'm not planning on dating anytime soon, so if I get erectile dysfunction, it doesn't really matter right now. And you know, the best insights always come from postnet clarity, so I might as well just relapse here and gain some wisdom. But then every single time I would still feel regret and think about how stupid it was what I just did. So if you can relate to this, realize here that there has never been a time where you had postnet clarity and didn't feel regret. And there never will be. And you know it. So now that you know how the brainwashing works and you realize how stupid this addiction actually is, it's time to finally make the decision for yourself to quit once and for all. So right now I want you to pause the video and say to yourself, this addiction ends right here and right now and no matter what happens, I will never get back at my decision. Write this down on a piece of paper or leave a comment down below so you know that you're serious about this stuff. Remember that you're not losing anything and not giving up on anything, but instead you're escaping something and actually gaining a lot of things. You're no longer a slave to this addiction and you can finally start to live your life to the fullest now. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, that's great and I'll copy, but what about the withdrawal period? How will I be able to deal with all this stress and boredom and all this mental pain that will come after I quit? But here is where the fun starts, guys, because there's nothing to be afraid of here. I'm gonna repeat myself here again because I really want you to get this drilled inside of you. 
The reason why porn was hard for you to quit and you had all these withdrawal pains is because you had this fear that you were making a sacrifice. And the only reason that this fear exists is because of the brainwashing and the lies that society has told you. Whenever you had an urge to watch, you would have this internal conflict where you would weigh the pros against the cons. And it's only because of this uncertainty that you become stressed and then the mental pain becomes unbearable and then you decide to relapse again. But now that you aren't brainwashed anymore and you realize that porn doesn't solve any problem but instead it only creates them, there's no battle inside of your head anymore and therefore no pain when you try to quit. This is exactly why I just told you that you have to make this promise to yourself that you're never gonna come back to the addiction no matter what happens. Because it's only when you become uncertain and start to doubt your decision that it will be painful for you to quit again. So now whenever you get the urge to watch porn, all you need to do is not think about it in a way that you're giving up on something, but instead think about how great it is that you're not addicted anymore. So what I do here is literally tell myself, great, I'm no longer a slave to porn anymore and my life is so much better because of it. Then most of the times I also just start laughing about how stupid this addiction actually is and that I feel really sorry for all those people still struggling with it. And then within 10 seconds, I just move on with my life and it's like nothing ever happened. At some point I even turned this into a game where each time I was able to resist the urge, I would just think to myself, well, this is great because now I just dealt a little more damage to that like little monster inside of my brain that got me addicted in the first place. If you deal with your urges in this way by always keeping a positive frame of mind, it doesn't take you any willpower anymore to quit and you won't have any withdrawal pains. So once again, don't start moping, never doubt your decision, but simply start living your life to the fullest. Because once you've kicked this addiction, you will realize how amazing life actually is. But once you quit, there are still a couple of traps that you need to be aware of because they can still sabotage you if you're not careful enough. And the first one being the trap of just one more time. There have been multiple moments in my life where I thought I successfully quit the addiction and then I just thought to myself, you know, I feel very confident that I'm not addicted anymore. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna prove it to myself by just watching one more time and see if I actually still like it. So then I searched for a video, I started watching and eventually I started to realize that I don't like it anymore. So then I thought to myself, well, that's great. I don't like it anymore, so I'm not addicted anymore. But what I didn't realize here is that by doing this, I would keep the addiction alive and that the cycle would already start all over again. Because what happened then is that after a while, a similar moment would happen in my life and then suddenly I was hearing this voice inside of my head saying, just one more time. But then this time it was harder for me to resist because I already messed up once and because of that it made me doubt my decision to quit. And like I said before, once you start doubting yourself, you will eventually give in to the urge again and you will get hooked again. You have to realize here that there is no such thing as one more time because it will always lead to the next one more time. You are either fully free from the addiction or you're addicted for the rest of your life. There is no in between here. So now whenever I have this voice inside of my head telling me just one more time, I always keep in mind that at that time I'm making the decision between being fully free or fully addicted again. And then it doesn't take long for me to snap out of it and simply get back to what I was doing again. Then the next trap is trying to avoid as much sexual triggers as possible. These are things like deleting social media and installing porn blockers. So you don't get exposed to as much sexual arousal and therefore you don't have as many cravings. And look guys, I definitely believe that getting off social media is a good thing, but not for this reason. Because by doing this, you're treating the addiction like it's some sort of a forbidden fruit. And just like Adam and Eve back in the days, your rebellious side will come out and you will eat from the apple. And also there isn't really a way to fully avoid all of the triggers because eventually the triggers will just become more subtle. The only way to deal with urges is to simply allow them to happen and then use the 10 second trick I shared with you earlier. Then another thing people tend to do after quitting is look for a substitute to replace porn in order to make it easier for them to quit. Now this is also a very bad idea because by doing this you're basically telling yourself that there is still some sort of a void that you need to fill and because of it you're keeping the addiction alive. 
You don't need a substitute for porn because there's nothing you're missing out on because life already is amazing the way it is right now. And then last of all, when you quit, don't expect that you will be having some very tough weeks that you need to survive before it gets easy. Because this will only make you mope and then you will fail. All you need to do is once again, keep a positive frame of mind and remind yourself how great it is that you're not a slave anymore. The beautiful truth is that once you understand how this addiction works and why you really do it, you will just stop doing it just like this. And all you will ever wonder about from that time is why you weren't able to do it sooner. It's been half a year for me since I discovered this method and for the first time in my life, I'm fully convinced to say that I'm never going back again. Since I quit, there have been multiple hard days and stressful moments where I would usually relapse, but it didn't happen this time and I know it won't happen in the future. Now before we end the video right here, I do have to give some credits to the author of the book The Easy Peasy Way to Quit Porn. This book is what inspired the content of this video and is also exactly what got me to the point where I'm at today. I know you clicked on this video because you were looking for a simple trick, but if you're still watching right now, you know that there's way more to this. So if this video inspired you and you are really serious about quitting, which I know you are, I highly encourage you to start reading this book. Even if you already feel certain that you are gonna quit, just simply start reading this book in order to ingrain these beliefs inside of your head even more. So you know 100% certain that you are never ever gonna come back. The book is completely free and can be found on the internet in both PDF and audio format. I'll share some links in the description so you can check it out. Remember that the motivation that you have right now won't always be there. So don't waste it by clicking on another video. You know what to do, so start taking action right now. Stop thinking, start doing. Take care.